So my name is Quartz Lindell, and I am the founder of Lindell Learning. So I am a learning consultant and coach. So I work with uh, mission-oriented, basically, leaders to help them maximize their impact through learning. And I think that the model is really the way that learning needs to go and learning design needs to go in the future because we know how ineffective this one and done training is and we really need to find learning solutions that are our learning ecosystem. And I have found this is the easiest way to really methodically develop a learning ecosystem. And, and that is the way of learning in the future. It's the, I think the best way to really learn the process and the tools and to really put them into practice and be getting that kind of feedback on how they work. As a consultant, I want to be able to have that kind of the backing and the expertise to tell people, look, I, I know this model. I have the, the kind of the backing to prove that this is something that I can do. Like, I know it's the way to go. So I want to just become an expert in it and be really proficient in it. It's not just like, oh, look, I read the book, I can do this. Although to be honest, I haven't read the book yet because I just did all this stuff. Like, I know I just need to be in the doing stage. And if I'm reading it, I'm not gonna be just doing it. So that practicum really helps you step-by-step step, learn how to use each of the tools and how to put together all the pieces and give you a really nice, easy system that makes you really think hard and deep. I think that as a consulting model, it really gives you a good structure and working with the clients. Um, I like that better than other uh, structures I've used before of, you know, how to guide your conversations with the client. And really you can start with like that OCO process um, because there you're really breaking down what is the problem here that we're trying to address and what are these target behaviors. And, and you know, that involved a couple of conversations with my client and help them define the problem because that happens a lot of times, right? The clients don't really know what the problem is. And, you know, they just look at this one big thing. And by really going through the tool and using just that on the, the OC, the on the job change objective, um, I could really narrow down the problem and identify solutions. And then working through the, the rest of the tools, essentially I came up with a plan for the client. And that I think was very helpful having that structure is a very well thought out. I can really go much deeper into their pain points and what's gonna move the needle for them. And then at the end, when I have the list of learning assets, those were, um, products or services that I could then offer to the client. And then, you know, the client, it's up to them what they want to do. Um, you know, and each one I could estimate uh, the price points. And so they could decide, you know, we want to do A, B, and C, or you know what, we're not ready for this now, or we can do this ourselves. And so it gives them like a menu. And I, I think I came up with five items at the end that they could uh, choose from. And they could do one, all, none. It's up to them. So I think as a structure for external clients, it works great. It really, and like I said, it even compared to other consulting models I've used, this one really provides the structure and giving exactly what I need. And, you know, I, I will now structure all my work with clients this way as much as I can. I'm very positive. I think it brought a lot of clarity to the situation for them um, that... You know, they could feel the pain, but they couldn't really see the kind of the causes and the way out. But she's like, oh yeah, we got our work cut out. Like it got her energized, like, because it's like, I see a solution. I see a way out. And I think we can really move the needle and make a difference, especially because you've got those, you know, kind of KB KPIs and organizational goals. And you can see there is a direct link um, by changing the behaviors of the people this way, we are going to move those uh, organizational goals. And I think that's what like light bulbs went off in her head when she saw that. In the past, I would have just given a list of possible solutions, but seeing the cluster is a visible evidence of, yes, this is an integrated solution 
which is going to increase its uh, probability of success. And I could also offer a variety of price points on their volunteer organization. So that's helpful because I had some that were just job aids. So that was gonna be a lower price point, whereas others were more uh, like workshops or something like that. So there was a whole range of price points and for them to consider. Uh, and so they, she, she liked that idea. So this is the thing, I think that that's been part of my evolution over the last few months as I've, you know, started this business was that I, I actually decided to do the business myself because I didn't want to be just making courses, you know, cause I talked to people about that. And it was like, okay, well, we just want you to make this really detailed storyboard. And I'm like, that's not what I want to do. I like doing that problem analysis. And so I wanted to create work for me where I was doing that. So the LCD model definitely helps you to shift that focus to becoming, you know, to really getting into that analysis and really helps you to structure the analysis uh, much more so than I think any other model. And then of course it's bringing in all of the best thinking in the learning and development field, you know, all the theories, all the best theories are, you know, it's structured in there. And that's what I like about it. Like I like having a system and a method to make it easy to make sure I'm developing quality learning experiences. The main advantage of learning the model is giving me a very solid structure that makes my job easier in the end and makes my work a lot better. So for being on the fence, this is the way that's going to help make your work easier in the future and be better. So uh, I knew, I knew it was, I mean, I, I knew it was going to bring you know, up my, the level of my practice. I don't want to do a one and done learning solution. I want to really look at problems and find learning solutions. That really is my goal.